subscribe our channel if you like our video please share it with your friends you can also click the bell icon to get the notifications English colonies emerged along the eastern seaboard for a variety of reasons. People, primarily men originally migrated to Virginia to find gold and silver to make a quick profit. After it became evident that there were no precious metals in the area, men came to Virginia to start cultivating cash crops like tobacco. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said of the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In some respects, to be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture. Don't miss the very beginning of a lecture since that is often the most valuable part, for instance, because it reviews previous lectures or outlines objectives and lecture structure. If you easily get distracted by other students, sit near the front.
The information session is a 45-minute presentation conducted by an admission representative. Immediately following the session is a 90-minute walking tour of the campus led by a student ambassador. Walking tours of the campus generally include classroom buildings, a residence hall room, a dining hall, the library, athletic facilities, performing art facilities, and the student union. Australians speak English of course. But for many tourists and even some locals, Australian English has only tenuous links with the mother tongue. Our speech is peppered with words and phrases whose arcane meanings are understood only by the native speaker. It is these colourful colloquialisms that Australian slang is yet to truly explain. Along with all that they have in common, infants also show unique individual traits. Some are more active than others, some are more sociable and some are more interested in the world around them. Infants earlier on show consistent differences in friendliness and anxiety level which form part of their early character. The provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens our society. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on public policy, such as determining electoral boundaries and where to locate schools and hospitals. It allows businesses to know their market, grow their business, and improve their marketing strategies by targeting their activities appropriately.
Business school admissions officers said the new drive to attract younger students was in part the result of a realization that they had inadvertently limited their applicant pool by requiring several years' work experience. Talented students who might otherwise have gone to business school instead opted for a law or policy degree because they were intimidated by the expectation of work experience. Imagine living all your life as the only family on your street. Then, one morning, you open the front door and discover houses all around you. You see neighbors tending their gardens and children walking to school. Where did all the people come from? When we recycle, used materials are converted into new products, reducing the need to consume natural resources. If used materials are not recycled, new products are made by extracting fresh, raw material from the earth, through mining and forestry. Recycling helps conserve important raw materials and protects natural habitats for the future. Surprisingly, despite what appear to be infinite variations, all difficult conversations share a common structure. When you're caught up in the details and anxiety of a particular difficult conversation, this structure is hard to see. But understanding that structure is essential to improve how you handle your most challenging conversations.
New research shows that during the global financial crisis, workers who stayed in jobs did not reduce their working hours, despite the claims that cuts in hours have led to job losses. A study found that the life of people who stayed with the same employer remained relatively unchanged. A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present persuasively and clearly in the scope of your paper, so keep in mind the page count. If possible, your thesis should also be somewhat original. Conservation scientists have long tried to map how much of the planet remains undegraded by human activity. Previous estimates using satellite imagery or raw demographic data found anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the globe was free from obvious human incursions, such as roads, light pollution or the gaping scars of deforestation. But an intact forest canopy can hide an emptied-out ecosystem below. Aquaculture, also known as aqua farming, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions.
History is selective. What history books tell us about the past is not everything that happened, but what historians have selected. They cannot put in everything, choices have to be made. Choices must similarly be made about which aspects of the past should be formally taught to the next generation in the shape of school history lessons. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. Blue whales are the largest living mammals. Though reports of maximum length and weight vary from one account to another, Antarctic blue whales are known to have reached lengths to 100 feet and weights of over 150 tons before stocks were severely depleted by whaling operations. As the Delta variant of coronavirus sweeps the U.S., businesses, universities and cities such as New York and San Francisco have introduced vaccine mandates to boost uptake of jabs, but vaccine hesitancy remains high and a cottage industry for bogus inoculation cards has emerged to help people get around the rules.
Summer Hill School was regarded with considerable suspicion by the educational establishment. Lessons were optional for pupils at the school, and the government of the school was carried out by a school council, of which all the pupils and staff were members, with everyone having equal voting rights. The wonderful framework of mature trees creates a secluded implants atmosphere that unites a great variety of plantings to inspire visitors in all seasons. Spring in the garden is marked by flipping up and flowering of trees and the eruption of the flowers in the pulp of needle and woodland understory. Tourism is a challenging sector that divides statistics since businesses serve tourists, also serve local people. Therefore, it is not straightforward to estimate how much business sector's revenues and how many jobs are due to tourist expenditures. Scholars build their own personal libraries to support not only particular projects but also general reading in their field. They buy or make photocopies of materials when possible so they can consult them frequently, mark passages, and write annotations on them. When moving into a new field, they add to their collections, usually concentrating on primary texts.
The findings of modern research support the view that the evolution of primitive men and its culture should be regarded as unity. Yet this unity is exceedingly complex, and future research will doubtless enable us to make finer distinctions between the periods that people composed it. Since our graduate admission school is not centralized, each of the university's six schools and colleges admits students to its own programs. For information about specific program degrees, graduate applications, graduate admission requirements and procedures, graduate scholarships and status of your application, visit the individual school websites. Our central aim is to enable you to develop knowledge and attitudes and skills that are conducive to constructive involvement, cooperation and teamwork with others and will serve you well in future endeavors. To succeed, the process demands all of us a serious exercise in civic responsibility. Regular exercise releases brain chemicals key for memory, concentration, and mental sharpness at the same time as lifting your mood, and lowering stress and anxiety all of which contribute to brain health. Studies show that regular exercise helps you manage complex tasks, organize and razor sharpen your focus which is great for those long revision sessions or particularly complex exam questions.
In medicine, the application of information technology means the digitalization of medical records and the establishment of an intelligent network for sharing those records. In the past medicine has taken a paternalistic stance, with the all-knowing physician dispensing wisdom, but that is becoming increasingly untenable. The Earth just had the hottest month in recorded history. Not only does it break through the all-time record set a year before, it also continues a now 10-month-long streak of months that are the hottest ever according to NASA data. The NOAA calculate temperatures slightly differently. The preparation of abstracts is an intellectual effort, requiring general familiarity with the subject. To bring out the salient points of an author's argument calls for skill and experience. Consequently, a considerable amount of qualified manpower that could be used to advantage in other ways must be diverted to the task of facilitating access to information. Shrimp farmers used to hold animals in nursery ponds for 30 to 60 days, now they try to move them into grow-out ponds in less than 30 days. This reduces stress on the animals and dramatically increases survivals in the grow-out ponds. Many farms that abandon nursery ponds have gone back to them, and the results have been surprisingly positive. They're using the old, uncovered, earthen, nursery ponds.
public demand for education has remained strong, reflecting the importance of education as a means of social progress. Aware of the added value of education to the world of work, the government continues to innovate and update the education system in order to produce a qualified and competent workforce. A unique characteristic of online shopping environments is that they allow vendors to create retail interfaces with highly interactive features. One desirable form of interactivity from a consumer perspective is the implementation of sophisticated tools to assist shoppers in their purchase decisions by customizing the electronic shopping environment to their individual preferences. A hazard assessment should be performed for work involving distillations of organic liquids and should thoroughly address issues relating to residual water and possible decomposition of the solvent in question, as well as the physical placement of the distillation apparatus and heating equipment to be employed. Traditional divisions of domestic work are understood to persist because of the strong association of the home with femininity and paid work with masculinity. To challenge who does what in the home is arguably equivalent to challenging what it is to be a woman or a man.
Perhaps the most measurable benefit of the program has been the opportunity to meet in small groups, something that is difficult to arrange in such a desperate organization. Many officers would have to work together for 30 years but would not know each other's strengths and weaknesses. One of the important values of literature is that it nourishes our emotional lives. The inner life that good writers reveal in their characters often gives us glimpses into some portion of ourselves. We can be moved to laugh, cry, tremble, dream, ponder, shriek, or rage by simply turning a page instead of turning our lives upside down. One of the important values of literature is that it nourishes our emotional lives. The inner life that good writers reveal in their characters often gives us glimpses into some portion of ourselves. We can be moved to laugh, cry, tremble, dream, ponder, shriek, or rage by simply turning a page instead of turning our lives upside down. Investigators also compared those microbes with those living in 52 other soil samples taken from all around the planet. The park had organisms that also exist in deserts, frozen tundra, forests, rainforests, and prairies. Antarctica was the only area that had microbes that did not overlap with those found in Central Park. Only a small percentage of the park's microbes were found to be already listed in databases.
The training of an actor is an intensive process which requires curiosity, courage and commitment. You will learn how to prepare for rehearsal, how to rehearse and how to use independent and proactive processes that inform you to do the best work possible for both stage and screen. Companies will want to be known not just for the financial results they generate, but equally for the imprint they leave on society as a whole. First, ensuring that their products contribute positively. Second, operating in a way that approaches a net neutral impact to the natural environment. And third, cherishing their people. The brain is divided into its hemispheres by a prominent groove. At the base of this lie nerve fibers which enable these two halves of the brain to communicate with each other, but the left hemisphere usually controls movement and sensation in the right side of the body, while the right hemisphere similarly controls the left side of the body. Most succulent plants are found in regions where there is little rainfall, dry air, plenty of sunshine, porous soils and high temperatures during part of the year. These conditions have caused changes in plant structures, which have resulted in greatly increased thickness of stems, leaves, and sometimes roots, enabling them to store moisture from the infrequent rains.
the most important issue is concerned with the problem of funding. Social services receive different donations or grants from the government. However, these sums are not sufficient for the solution of all problems. The second most important issue consists of huge spending. The money social services achieve is not enough for normal functioning. The third problem, affecting human services, is the lack of skilled and experienced employees. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy. We all know about bacteria, viruses, and microscopic protozoa. We can watch the way that these tiny agents move into our bodies and damage our organs. We have a growing understanding of how our body mounts defensive strategies that fight off these invaders, and have built some clever chemical that can help mount an assault on these bio-villains.
How quickly this occurs depends on the dynamics of fertility, mortality and overseas migration. While a moderate pace of demographic change allows for gradual adjustment of the economy and policies to the changing population demographics, rapid changes are more difficult to manage. As a result, governments and society as a whole may need to take actions to address these issues. Biology is the natural science that studies life and living organisms, including their physical structure, chemical processes, physiological mechanisms and evolution. Certain unifying concepts consolidated into a single and coherent field that recognizes genes as the basic unit of heredity, and evolution as the engine that propels creation and extinction. Charlie Chaplin and his brother Sidney were placed in an orphanage at a very early age. Becoming a vaudeville performer, he joined Fred Carnot's company in 1906. 1906. He made his film debut in Making a Living and introduced the famous seedy and soft-hearted gentleman tramp routine, which became his hallmark. Numerous films for various studios brought him world fame, all based on his mastery of pathos and slapstick acrobatics.